The meeting of the Public Safety Committee is now called to order. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Alderman Boyd. Present. Alderman Vaccaro. Present. Alderman Cohn. Present. Alderman Arnowitz. Present. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderman Kotar. Here. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderman Muhammad. Present. Alderwoman Boyd. Here. Chairman Kennedy. Here. Eight. Present. You have a quorum. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk. We have two bills before us, Board Bill 53 and 34. We will first take up Board Bill 53, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard, who's not a member of the committee, and we will hear her bill first. But Nora is then brought here. Good morning, Alderman Kennedy and, and members of the Public Safety Committee. You have before you Board Bill 53, an ordinance directing the Public Safety Department of Public Safety starting in 2018 to move the City of St. Louis's National Night Out from the first Tuesday of August to the first Tuesday of October. The reason for this Board Bill is um, twofold. One, many of you are, are aware that St. Louis summers are extremely hot and humid, and the first Tuesday in August many times finds us um, holed up in air conditioning and, and really too warm for people to come out. The other reason is uh, last year and several years subsequently, um, we also hold elections on the first Tuesday of August, which sometimes interferes with the enjoyment of the national night out and the participation. Um, if you're working the polls, sometimes it's, it's in, inconvenient to go and attend a national night out party. So I, I talked with the events coordinator and I talked with members of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, and I also spoke with the members of the National Night Art, Out Organization. Um, other states have, have done this statewide, Texas and Florida for two, and I think there's one other one, but I can't recall which one that is, because of the weather and um, the idea that um, it's just more convenient for people to participate. And I anticipate in October we might be able to have a little more participation streetwise because vacations are over, people are getting ready to come in and, and get more involved in their neighborhoods. So I, at this point, I, I would like for you to pass this with, okay, you go ahead. Right. Questions Any questions? From, okay. Questions from members of the committee. Uh, Alderman Jeffrey Boyd, any questions? Um, I just have comments. Uh, Thank you. I, I think this is a great idea. I like to be a co-sponsor, um, so appreciate it. Okay, we will add you as a co-sponsor. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vaccaro. I have questions. Alderman Cohn. I no questions, but I do want to thank you for this. I, I, it's always a kind of uh, inconvenience of sorts when. Uh, every year, even this year, you know, people ask, you know, even the folks that are organizing national nights out you know, on their blocks are like, why do we do this in August? You know, can't we move it to September or October? Um, so, you know, I really appreciate you taking the initiative on it because it's, it's long overdue. Thank you. Alderman Kotar. Alderman, are you, um, I see that there's 48 states still keep the August date, Texas and Florida do not, so mm -hmm. very soon we will also join them with October. Are you aware of any other states that are looking there, at this I, I think when I talked to the gentleman, he said there was another state that it wasn't mentioned on the website, but I can't remember what it was, and I when probably you, have it in my notes somewhere. That's but okay, I'm just more curious. And then um, when you spoke to the folks from the National Night Out organization, um, did they give you any... Uh, idea of why that was originally set in August? The reason was actually St. Louis back in the 80s, and, and my mother actually worked on this with Mayor Shamel, um, was one of the pilot cities. Uh, the reason they did it in August was, one, they said that was sort of a slow month for law enforcement statistically, and Tuesday being a slow day for law enforcement. And I said, well, you know, what he goes, well, I think it's really entirely up to what your local norms are. And I talked with the police and they were fine with it. They, they are really happy that it, they're not out there in the heat. So, and, and Tuesdays, I had some constituents that really wanted it moved to a weekend. And 
uh, the, the law enforcement was not part of that. And, and I think that a weeknight is better because it's more, it's not supposed to be a party, it's to recognize our efforts as communities for safety, public safety and, and working with law enforcement. Great, thank you. Alderman Mohammed. Alderman, Alderwoman Pam Boyd. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did, did you say it's not supposed to be a party? Well, it's a party, but it, it shouldn't be a, an all-nighter, you know, where if you have it on a weekend, people tend to linger longer and, you know, they want to keep it, I guess, manageable right. is what, what I would say, so that it's more uh, community coming together and, and for public safety and recognizing we need to work together toward public safety. Okay. Are there any other questions or comments from members of the committee? Alderman Cohen? I'm sorry. Uh, did you mention, are there other cities that have done this? Because we talked about Texas and uh, Florida, but are there other cities that have changed the date that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Do we have any concern with like confusion with St. Louis County and the cities that are celebrating out there? I, you know, I, I didn't really go, you know, and poll St. Louis County. To be honest with you, I, I kind of figured, I, you know, you don't hear much about St. Louis County doing much with it. I don't, I don't know, and I don't know that. And I, my understanding is a lot of the communities outside of St. Louis do it on a block by block basis that it's sort of a independent thing okay thank you okay you're welcome any other questions comments if not we can entertain a motion i make a motion that we pass board bill 53 out with second. a due pass recommendation okay, moved and seconded that we pass board bill 53 out with a due pass recommendation is there any discussion on the motion seeing none madam clerk would you call the roll thank All you Alderman Boyd? Aye. Alderman Vaccaro? Aye. Alderman Cohn? Aye. Alderman Onowitz? Alderwoman Hubbard? Alderman Kotar? Aye. Alderwoman Spencer? Alderman Muhammad? Aye. Alderwoman Boyd? Aye. Chairman Kennedy? Aye. Seven aye votes do pass. By your vote, you sustain the motion. Uh, Alderwoman, I believe you may also have some other co people interested in co-sponsoring. You can place my name, the Alderman from the 19th, on all the other hands you see up. <laughs> okay. I will, I will send an email out. will not be hearing board bill 34 today. We're gonna to hold it in committee. Okay. That really completes our agenda for today. Uh, with that, our meeting is adjourned.